With screen time, you can keep an eye on how your children spend time on their devices and set limits to help them get the right balance. To use screen time with your child's device, they need to have their own Apple ID. And you both need to be part of the same family group in family sharing. You also need to turn on screen time for your child's device, which you can do from your iPhone or iPad, and add a screen time passcode to access certain features. This passcode used to be called the restrictions passcode, and it should be different from your main device passcode. Check the links in the description if you need help getting set up. Now on your device, open settings and tap screen time. Then tap your child's name and select their device. Here you'll see their activity summary, which shows you how much time they've spent using different types of apps today or over the last seven days. If you scroll down, you'll also see which apps they use the most, how many times they pick up their device, and which apps are sending the most notifications. Tap your child's name to go back when you're done. Want to limit how much time your child spends in certain apps like games? Tap App Limits. Enter your screen time passcode. Then tap Add Limit. Next, select the app category you'd like to limit and tap Next. From here, set a daily time limit. You can also customize app limits for specific days of the week and block the app for the day once the limit expires. When you're done making changes, tap Add, and then tap your child's name to return to their summary page. If you don't want your child using their device during certain times of the day, like bedtime or when they're doing homework, tap Downtime, enter your screen time passcode, and tap the switch to turn it on. Then, choose a start and end time. During downtime, all of your child's apps and notifications will be blocked, but they'll still have access to phone calls and the apps you select on their allowed apps list. We'll set our downtime to start a bit before bedtime. Tap your child's name when you're done. Next, Tap Always Allowed. Here you'll see a list of important apps that your child can still use during downtime, like phone, messages, FaceTime, and naps. To add an app, scroll down and tap the green plus sign next to the app you'd like to allow. If you want to remove one from the list, tap the red button. Tap back when you're done making changes to your list. Now, when your child is using an app and they're about to reach their limit, they'll get a notification that they have five minutes left. When they've reached the limit, this screen will appear and lock them out of the app. Your child will have the option to ask for more time, and you will receive a notification on your device. To let your child use the app a little longer, swipe down on the notification, and then you can approve the app use for an extra 15 minutes, an hour, or for the rest of the day. Or tap Don't Approve to keep the app blocked. And now with these guidelines in place, you can help your family make the most of the time they spend on their devices. To learn more about screen time and other iPhone and iPad features, check out the Apple Support Channel for more helpful videos.